Hey everybody, we are back, uh, and loving it, um, we're going to do some pay to win, we're historically, recently, haven't exactly brought the heat, but you know what, I've, I've already done a, a linear regression, and I've determined we're going to get to 10 wins, I mean, what beats a 3-3 fish, talkative hiker maybe, kind of annoying, you're just trying to enjoy your, your nature, enjoy your bliss, your own little slice of not being inside the city, all right, two fish. Turns out two fish beat one slightly stronger fish. We, we run an anti-horse. Now that's interesting. Now that's... Now that's interesting. Why don't, you, why don't you take a slice? Why don't you take a little extra slice, too? How about that? Why don't you take a little B? All of a sudden, we got a 3-4... I love a Ladybug. I, I feel like Ladybug is the best tier one specifically pay to win unit, which might make it actually the best tier one unit. But I don't know if, if people are ready for that conversation just yet. This is a gimme, man. You absolutely sell something. I'm going to sell this. I'm going to fit a rabbit. And then, like, salads would be better. Probably trade those honestly um but we start feeding something and and really right now you just feed the best animal and the best animal is a ladybug i still the, the downside of this is is having the ladybug at the back but i'm hoping it's one of those things that's not going to burn me too bad i'm not worried about round three the game's not won or lost on round three most of the time <laughs> some of the time maybe maybe there's a case there okay so a bat will help us You know what? What if what if we ran you at the front and we made our bat a little stronger? What if uh, one thing I've always been afraid of, or hesitant to do, is you know give the buffs to multiple units? And you can see that because if you give it to multiple units, there's more units you may feel is untouchable overall. You're like, oh, I don't want to sell this thing because it's too valuable to me in this context. But maybe you know if a bat and a ladybug are both sticking around. Either way, let me put it this way: the way we do best is by. And you're not going to love that, maybe. But we, we give as much food as possible to our unit, while, or to the, the unit that we like the most here, while the sun's up, okay? That's the play, and I'm sticking to it. They forced my hand, so now I'm, I'm going sicko mode, okay? And now that we've gone sicko mode, I don't think we need to talk about two hatching chicks, but I definitely would not mind throwing out one hatching chick next turn. Maybe we combine our birds, we throw out one hatching chick. Almost had me. What? You're nineteen seven. <laughs> what the heck is that dodo, man? But this is why we did it. Because then we do this. And 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 all of a sudden, like, who says no to this right here? Maybe the other team. We'll find out. Okay, are we on no apple? Are we on a no apple diet now, perhaps? Maybe now we say salads are good. We had a little too much... Uh, Vitamin A in our diet. Now, am I making the classic mistake you make where you think that a fruit must have a lot of the vitamin in it that starts with the same letter as the fruit, perhaps? But oranges have a lot of vitamin C. C starts with an O, doesn't it? And O is kind of like two C's put together, mirrored, in a way. I don't know what I'm talking about, and I will not elaborate any further. Now, again, I'm a believer in, in the world of stats right now. I'm always a believer in the world of skunks. I know we just r literally rolled past one as we speak there, but I think... I think we're doing the right thing here. I think we're committing to... You know, we're, we're on a line. The line is we're going to have two good units. One of them is going to be a ladybug. One of them is going to be a bat. And I, I don't know what's going to happen after that. I'll tell you what's going to happen right now is we're going to get absolutely destroyed by what essentially amounts to a single ox. That's going to put us on lethal, and it's like mega lethal. <laughs> Birds got to go. Toss me some salads. We don't hate. Freeze me. I think that the skunk is like... Here's what I'm going to say about it, okay? I don't think you know how good you got it with a skunk until you don't have one. 
When you have a skunk, you take it for granted, you know? It just does one little thing, and you're like, how important could that be? And then it, you know, before you know it, you, like, wiped the other team. No! <laughs> I don't want to talk about that one. Um, but when you don't have it, I mean, sometimes that happens right there. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> Iconic heads, what can I say? Now, we lose this round to almost everything. But it's one of the easiest ways to create, like, a, a, a fully buff team that you could ever imagine. I don't think we can avoid that. I, I, I know this looks like, like what a colossal mess up we're doing right here after we already know that it didn't work for us last time. This time we already got the tank. All we need is the, the hitting at the front. And we win. Like, you know, Joe Llamas. Joe Llama is so bad, he lost to a team with th only two different kinds of animals on it. <laughs> Roasted. You, oh, oh, mos mosquito, are you crazy? We roll this. We ro What are you doing? I guess we'll roll two sheep. I still add a bat to this team. Like I, I've always said, I'm not a hater. We could even talk about creating... I still think this is a strat that is not very good. Hold on, I love this. Hold on. Come on, come on, do it. Kill your own peacock. Kill your own peacock. You almost killed your own. That, I'm gonna count that. Didn't expect to run into deliberately bad animals. But I, I think this strategy is more cute than good. But the get a level two sheep pillet, combine the two rams, now you got a level three for a bison. It's always, you know, it's one of those things that's interesting to do. If only to prove to the people watching that you know how to do it. <laughs> and for literally no other benefit whatsoever. So I went with a little food meta here. The sheep are like built-in anti-ox. I don't know about this one. Wait a minute, I know about this one. I mean, it looks so bad, right? Like it looks like we just got bodied by that peacock, but it traded like one for one, more or less. We just, you know, our one is just that much more impressive. Freeze me, roll me. Who says no? Feed me, feed me, feed me. I mean, I don't know. Dude, I'm just going to be real with you. Like, as long as it's kind of working here, then I'm, I don't feel a need to pivot too hard yet. We, we got two spaces for pivoting with the sheeps, but the sheeps are basically just melon armor destroyers right now. Like, they, they exist just to trade up. And the, the trading, I mean, I don't know if we're going to win this one, but the trading has been working out, like, pretty nicely, quite honestly. We draw that against what I would say is pretty much just a, a much stronger team on attack, at least. Feels good, man. Roll me. Look, it's hard not to, right? Like, we're one pill away. I don't even know what I'm looking for. <laughs> Give me one of these. <laughs> we're, we're one pill away and selling an owl from having a round three, uh, a tier three that we could then turn into bison stacking or buffalo stacking, I should say. But then I think about it, we're already almost at the buffalo stacking. Like we're, I, I, got, I hate to tell you this. I think our bat is not doing it. With, without being level two, I don't think our bat's getting it done. And I hate, I hate to be the bearer of bat news. I'm not proud of myself here. I guess the owl's sticking around for, for at least a second here. This can't be good for anybody. <laughs> this is, this is anti-like scorpion technology on, you know, a, a little late in the game. Oh, I don't, uh, we got the, wait, but I didn't even, okay. Well, look, don't judge me based on this one, okay? This nice anti-scorpion technology. Just let the blowfish run wild. That should be fine. I don't, I can't possibly imagine that causing negative problems for us down the line. I am not getting anything going with the with the pay to win today, man. This is a dang disaster. We're on lethal. Sell me. Buy me. Definitely skunk me. Like that's not even a question. Why don't you move up to the front now? You you got a chance to shine. Ooh, baby. You can't use them. There's no way to use them, man. There's no way to use them. On there's no way to use them. That whoa, but oh baby, I was I got so snail blinded. I wasn't even looking at the double skunk that could get us out of a jam. Mm, next time. Next time. No, because we got sheeps. 
The sheeps are gonna keep us in it. Like, dude, sheep is just like a bee. Okay. That's why you put some sheep at the back. Now I'm starting to get it. Uh, kind of. Um, how long has this been frozen? I don't really want to talk about it. I don't know what we're doing with this owl. It's like too good to sell now. We got to replace it with a scorpion. The scorpion's going to get hit by a single dolphin. It's going to be disastrous. Is it just me? Or... I mean, there's two options here. We got a lot better. We're playing against much worse teams. I think I know what I feel. Like, the answer is in my heart, but I don't want to tell you. Buff me. Look, no matter what it hit, like... I don't think I was going to be too impressed. I don't know about all this, man. Please, 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 please. I guess it didn't matter at all who it hit, now that I think about it. I have forgotten what the animals do, and I'm just flying by the seat of my pants right now. That's bad. No, no! Why do you still have a B, man? What am I thinking? It's so stupid! We actually almost got down there with the worst team of all time. Was it five wins? We deserved about 0.5, but we got five. Okay, be smart. This is good, okay? That's good enough. Sure. Okay, look. Now, this squad is actually... We'll be the hot astronauts. Um, this squad looks terrible, but can get the job done. Maybe not against two, three, three fish. And a horse. I can understand that. That's a solid shop. Don't get me wrong. I sleep. I wake. And then I, we're, we're kind of... We could have buffed our ladybug a little bit, but give me a 2-4 fish. And I still like the cricket at the back. Now, this is a squad with, like, if you just looked at it in aggregate attack defense, pretty strong. So is our opponent's squad, but we're a little bit stronger. Approximately one cricket stronger. Okay. Let's learn from our mistakes. Sell a cricket, buy a swan. It's maybe it's a great animal. Throw a, a fish out there. You can always add a food to the squad. I see no problems. Maybe feeding. I know we get a buff on these guys, but I don't care for those guys. We add a buff to our swan to make it a little bit stronger. You know, it might seem like one one's pretty bad. It kind of is. But keep in mind how long it's going to be a 1-1 one, one for us. You know, we're, we're rocking that 1-1 one, one for like the next eight rounds. So it adds up maybe in some ways. Roll me. This is, a, this is terrible. Offensive even. We don't care for it. We do care for it. We care for it. Even though it's a bit of a, you know... Suboptimal squad here. I think we like it. I don't know. Meat. I always. I hesitate to buy meat, and it's not smart. Because my hesitation to buy meat is because I'm going to put garlic on those units later in my dreams. Then I don't. And even if I did put it on some of them, I'm not going to put it on all five units or all four at least. So like, why not at least. Get a little funky with it. <laughs> oh, give me those funky beats, man. Look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Why not get a little funky with it? Well, well, we got the chance. Freeze me. Uh, we could go up a tier. I don't care for that right now. What I do care for is a ch chance for a salad to hit the Debbie Cat. Oh, baby. <laughs> and, then, and then we're off to the freaking races. Okay. Probably should get some more garlic, but who cares? Not me. So I think I've previously said that the tabby cat is horrendous. I think it's pretty bad if you ever lose. If you can just ride it hard enough to win every round, which some people might call a little ambitious, something that's not 100% within your realm of control. Um, you guys don't have to go to level three. Like you, this is kind of, this is your stop, honestly. Um, but if you, if you can... The, the tabby cat, I see it as basically choosing to go all in. You don't, we don't have to go all in because we don't need to stick with it forever necessarily. But what, this squad is just too good. This, this squad, and I'm, this is with no disrespect, they had a round where they lost, they got like three snails, and now they're going to get ten wins. It, hap it happens to me. I do it all the time. We have to have skunks. 
probably could have justified a can. <laughs> this early skunk w w actually would have helped us a lot in that last round, to be honest, but it is what it is. Honestly, we take these, man. This is th this is actually good. Now, we really got to get the tabby cat still pumping. We still got to pump it. This is very nice. Forget that. Eagle, I, I sleep. Pump it. Pump it. Okay, now our green beetle is toast. It gets replaced with a cow. I thought about saving the milk, like freezing the milk. I don't know if milk freezes well, but I thought that maybe f this much feeding on this turn was overkill. But why Why not? Because we, we're going to get it anyway. We might as well get it now. I guess you, we miss out on perhaps some opportunity cost from the buffs next turn, but I, I'm glad we did it. That, that was closer than I thought it would be. I get scared when I see a squirrel because I feel like on the, on the enemy team, let's go. Because I feel like a squirrel is not omega bad, but is like kind of bad. And that scares me. I know you're, this is like a sell-buy opportunity, but... Um, because if they feel like they're comfortable enough to run a squirrel, that means I feel like I gotta be like, whoa, look out. Because <laughs> they're, they're in it to win it. If they feel like they could just toss a squirrel on the squad and, and go out there in the, the world's most competitive game ever made right now. But we're actually doing kind of wonders here. Okay, so that's six. It's our most successful run of the video, sadly. This is definitely a buy me. Sauropod, man. Buy food, gain one gold. I, look, this is me being a hater for sure. But there is a part of me that is like, I just don't see it. I rolled past the tabby cat. Probably the ladybug's gone next. And that, it's only after I said that that I now realize how little I actually have statted any of these units <laughs> except the tabby cat. <laughs> but hold on. We kind of, like, win these in many ways. No, level two. Level two, you piece. I went exactly the right amount of HP to die, you piece. You. Okay, you got to go. But then none of our units... Oh, no, you know what? They all attack. As long as they all attack, who cares? So we're going to... Forget the pair. We got enough going for us here. Feed me. I'm, I'm, this is tight on gold, so I'm going to forgo the level 2 cow gambit. What is wrong with me? There were two milks. I'm, I'm suffering a crisis of faith right now. Yes, yes. We're on lethal. <laughs> Pizza on me? Mmm, okay. If the turtle dies in one hit, the melon armor might not even pop onto the swan. I've seen it happen. It did, okay, okay, maybe I haven't seen it happen. Maybe it was a psyop. We won, that's hilarious, because it means I cannot be criticized. Those are the rules. At this point, you really got to be here. We need you to have that melon armor. Four, two, two, three. I kind of sleep. I'm a little, I'm a resident on that one. A little resident sleeper. Looking for that skunk for sure. I mean, I think we got to look at a leopard. Even though a squirrel is like interesting. We're, we're in over our heads here. This is not great. I don't know how I feel about the scorpion. I feel badly. That's how I feel about the scorpion. <laughs> was, I was just, I was too lazy to evaluate whether it was gonna screw us or not. But it, okay, I think we have seven there. Oh, what the heck? It's a, it's a free to play shop. My dreams have come true. Okay. What about the slippery organisms? We could really catch you uh, feeling dyslexic if you read it too fast. We draw these. It's an embarrassing draw. I, but you know what? Again, early game, you don't control as much as you might like to think. And you know what? Here's the play. 
you take a ladybug, I know. The ladybug has also been like synonymous with us not doing that well. Um, we needed a space in the shop. But we level up next time. One of these level ups is guaranteed to give us a rabbit. If we get a rabbit, which we will, it's guaranteed. Um, then we just start feeding and we got a little food meta synergy that, that benefits us a great deal. So let's start with this. Not a rabbit, but a, a relatively strong unit. Not a rabbit, but interesting. A little interesting, I would say. So I'm, I'm honestly like, I'm all about this life right now, as strange as it seems. We're getting really close to having a level three mosquito which would keep it around over the fish for sure. I think a tropical fish is kind of just like, you know, just the poor man's giraffe in many ways. None of which I will elaborate on any further. And we win these. So I'm, I'm starting to feel like I got a confident line here. Not confident in general. I feel like I got a little confidence for where we stand right now. Nothing deserves to be fed here. I'm going to... No, I don't think so. I'm going to roll because you're dead. I'm going to roll. You know what? I don't respect it. But what I do respect is next turn feeding uh, our ladybug a little meat. Making it a little stronger. Doing a little bit more damage. It's, you can't ask for a more fair draw than that one. I have nothing to say. Feed me? Feed me? You're going to think I lost it, but feed me. We're going to look to give you some garlic, perhaps? Don't insult me. Freeze me, freeze me, freeze me. Now you start the... Now we... Because we're going to have a lot of HP. And HP is not the only thing you need. Maybe we don't need garlic anymore, though. Oh, you piece. You are... You is a, only by a little... The, the thinnest of arithmetic margins did you make it there, but you're gone. I'm going to go ahead and say it. You're gone. You know why? Because two rabbits accomplish what you wish you could accomplish, but are too scared to. Then, food's given us a benefit here. Ladybug's feeling pretty poggy. I see you also went to the school of buying meat. Congratulations. You got you got 22 attack, huh? I guess you probably got a bird involved at some point. Which is funny because the bird's always been pure detritus for me. But um, combine me first. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. I know that there's going to be discussions about whether this was the right way for this to happen. And I'll, I'll tell you, this is with no irony in my heart. We're rolling a little bit of the, the four squad Marty because my other two options are a lobster and a rat. And I think that was the right choice. Well, this person has pivoted to a horse build. If I lose here, and it's not possible, thankfully. Their name is Richard Nixon. <laughs> you think it's the real guy? I know he died in the 80s or whatever, but what this book presupposes is, what if he didn't? You can roll, totally, totally roll a scorpion. But first, let's feed the animals that matter. I mean, the scorpion matters, but his HP doesn't matter. We got no scaling. That's a... I think this is why, like, puppy... Puppy caterpillar is, like, the dominant meta of pay-to-win. Because, like, it's it's reliable scaling. Otherwise, we're, we're out in the weeds, man. I really don't want to... Get rid of this owl, dude. It's a 1215 with garlic. We need keep it. And also buy salads, but don't feed a scorpion. Don't insult me. You know what? And if, if I'm sticking with it, then I'm sticking with it to that extent. Like, I'm that committed. Rabbit. Rabbit me. Rabbit me. Rabbit me. I got to be honest with you. I don't really see how we get past six or seven wins. I think uh, we, we're running a build that has a bit of a... Okay. Uh, it has a bit of an expiration date. There's a couple ways you could just get the luckiest uh, scorpions ever. You know what? You could also just get a T-Rex. 
I didn't even consider the possibility that a T-Rex could do some great work for you here. Um, we don't really need a tanky scorpion, but it would be fun. It would be a fun thing to see. I must be crazy. I don't feel that bad about this. Hold on. Did, did we just find our way out? Now, you, as much as it would be hilarious to level you, you need the life and also the level. We didn't get what we were looking for. That's fine. Because you know what you can do? You can just toss your rabbit a little steak. I don't necessarily expect that to be a huge difference maker, but it's an, the, the easiest way in the game to get to 20 attack. What the heck? Okay, this is strange, but I feel okay. Well, not the best steak I've ever had. That's like a $5 steak night at the local pool hall. I don't think we can really... If you just run the numbers in your head, I don't think we're getting another rabbit. <laughs> like, I don't think we're getting a level 3. The sushi is 6 HP. Actually, it's, I mean, technically it's 9 HP. So I'm, I'm definitely willing to, to play that, even though I mostly am looking for chocolate or another T-Rex. But I'm willing to do the, the roll down to get there. I, 3 attack, 9 HP for 3 gold is... It's a good play in my world, at least. Okay, honestly, I would say we got a good return on our investment for the... This is a problem, though. <laughs> I hate a, a, a freaking turkey... Uh, it's not a fly, but just a turkey build in general. It sends me up the... Sends me up the dang wall, man. Feed me again. Freeze a pair. I mean, we're, we're locked in. I mean, this is a no-brainer run. We're either going to win on stats or we're going to lose on... Something else. Or, alternatively, on stats. <laughs> is the other way that could go down. Um, I'm feeling good about this one. I always respect the Hedgehog build. It's a fun build to lose to, in my opinion at least. The people that lose might feel differently. Let's get a little crazy, man. Let's try it. Let's. If we're going to feed something, why don't we try to feed our... Nah, man, I'm not all about that. If we're going to try something, why don't, why don't we try to feed this scorpion? You know, it could be... Could be fun. We'll throw some melon armor back here on the T-Rex. Stats are starting to look juicy, but so will our opponents basically every round. Interesting. This seems incredibly bad. And yet we draw. <laughs> Thanks to the melon armor. Okay. I'll take that. Maybe it's time to move the T-Rex up and the scorpion slightly back. Who says no? You gotta go salad here, man. Stay on three. Dude, uh, what, has anyone ever rolled tanky position two, Scorpion? It's a little rarer. Oh, what the heck? That's terrible, man! Oh, we, we still actually did really well, but my Scorpion doesn't get to attack. Curse my comedic timing. I can't use any of these foods, so you're basically being a piece. Um, honestly, I want you to have HP. I know it's insane. That's what makes it so sane. This would be 10 as well. Dude, a 2928 Scorpion. That's a spicy meatball right there. Honestly, you're a piece and you deserve to lose. Enjoy trying to get uh, 10 wins with a B, uh, having lost this one to me, okay? You know why? Because you didn't let my 28, 2928 Scorpion spread his wings. So that's what you get. Like, it's 10 wins, but it's very saccharine feeling. It doesn't feel right to me. It's bittersweet, not saccharine. Because, like, sure, it's in the Hall of Fame or whatever. But, like, not like this, man. Come on. Not like this. Either way, 10 wins. He's back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.